man what a welcoming spot to get into we just left colorado and are now in utah and we stopped at this area along the highway that says view area and it's just gorgeous out here you guys are going to love this view check all this out i'll show you they got this walkway that goes up to all these rocks here and it already feels good to be going up the mountain again this is one thing i'm looking forward to the most about being out here in the west by all the mountains and walking up here and seeing all the views i'll be doing this pretty much every day for the rest of the trip well they weren't kidding huh look at that view all that desert out there you know one thing i would love to do one of these days is get my dirt bikes all fixed up and ride through all these deserts and the jumps and stuff like that you got all these natural hills and things and that just has to be a ton of fun i would say that was definitely worth the quick stop what do you guys think the views up here are just gorgeous just for five minutes off the highway totally worth it so last night after arriving in utah for the first time we got a little bit of bad news because our destination was supposed to be in beverly hills and what ended up happening is the person we're supposed to stay with in beverly hills we're no longer going to be staying with so our plans have changed and we decided to stay an extra day in st george utah and i was feeling a little rambunctious and wanted to go and explore the desert and so we headed over to this place called Red Cliffs National Conservation Area. And as you can see by my dash cam footage here, it is in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> All I could think about is rattlesnakes, coyotes, and getting a flat tire in the middle of the desert. Luckily, none of that stuff happened, and I didn't see any of those creatures. But we decided to come out here and have a little fun. Of course, they got a sign here right when you first show up telling you what you're allowed to do here and what you're not allowed to do here. Although I'm not really sure how much this is really enforced as I really didn't see any park rangers or police or really anybody else out here. I saw a few people passing by in trucks. Probably we saw two or three other cars the whole time we were out here. I'm walking very slowly and very carefully because it's very quiet and I just want to make sure I'm not going to step on anything out here. <laughs> Plus I wear flip flops pretty much like 95% of the time so I'm not out here in shoes because I wasn't really planning on going for a long hike so I'm just being careful. Judging by the looks of this map, this looks like a pretty big area to come out here and hike or ride horses or do whatever. So you probably really don't want to get lost out here and you should pay attention to this before you head out. This is probably the most valuable piece of information they got out here. They pretty much are telling you what you need to do to stay alive out here. So I read this one up and down just to make sure even though I really wasn't planning on going out in the wilderness or whatever but it's still good to know these things just in case something happens. Can you hear that? Yeah, that's the sound of complete silence. I feel like even just whispering out here in the desert is loud it is so quiet i don't think i've ever been to a place in my whole life where it's this quiet it's like so calm so still there's just the slightest little breeze out here and it's kind of hot of course you would expect it to be hot in a desert but not crazy hot where it's like unbearable similar to being in miami but without the humidity and uh, I just can't get over these views and how quiet it is. It's really something spectacular. Although, I don't think I would want to live in a place like this. I wonder how long somebody was looking for this key fob right here in the desert that I just found. Looks like it's been sitting there for a while. Blends in with the rock pretty good. Is 
anybody out there? Thank you.